Hey everybody, Futuro Productions here. It is currently Saturday, the 26th of September, and this is the final episode of Future Rail Travels. Hope you guys enjoy. So, yeah, final episode. I, I know what you're thinking. Why is the series ending? Short answer is I can't afford paying for these trips. I mean, it's... It's an expensive hobby to go all over the country to go film trains and stuff and all this stuff. And, you know, maybe it'll come back one day. I don't know. I mean, it's just so expensive to do that, you know, it's just, it's hard to do it, you know. But it, it's a final episode and, you know, we're going to go see the 765. So it's kind of a, a nice payoff to the series. Because episode 4 was the Joliet Rocket, and that was like two years ago. And, you know, going back to see the 765 again, that's the completion. You know, that's the closing of the second part of the trilogy, I guess you could say. It's like Star Wars with six episodes. But, um, yeah, I mean, the series is coming to an end. But it's not an end that's, you know, not going to be forgotten. It's, it's like, I got some big surprises. Uh, I can't tell you what they are, because if I tell you what they are, it's going to spoil the, the thing. And, and I don't even know if it's actually going to happen or not. Like, the surprise might not even happen. This might be in a completely new intro. Like, it could be completely different. I mean, if this doesn't even work out, like, it's going to, like, episode six is going to be, scrapped. I mean, because you're not ending on a sour note. So, um, but yes, so if it goes down, there's a big surprise waiting for you at the end of the episode or near the end. Um, but yeah, I'll be uh, leaving with my girlfriend uh, Wednesday morning. So we'll be driving from here in my home state all the way across Illinois uh, and then into Indiana. So, it's uh, about an eight-hour drive, so I'll check in with you guys once I pick her up and we're on the road. So, anyways, see you then. Hey, guys. Futuro Productions here again. Uh, here's my lovely girlfriend. Uh, we're going to be heading out now, so we will see you guys when we get to Fort Wayne. So, here we go. 765 rolls along. Tracks are humming, singing a song. Charges on through the night Smoke trail snakes through the moonlight Chicago, Fort Wayne North points in between Steed of fire, speed of light All aboard 765 Stop at the world's largest truck stop. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty awesome. I mean, yeah, world's largest truck stop. Not kidding. Uh, this is Walcott, Iowa, I think. Is it? Yeah, it is. So, I'll take some photos at them all in and be back later. Bye. Four hundred tons of hard charging steel Nickel plated and black she sails Like a storm blown through the night Whoa, 
all aboard 765 Chicago, Fort Wayne, all points in between Speed of fire, speed of light, all aboard 765 because somebody had an accident so uh, we'll be out of here in Indi Indiana soon enough so I'll keep you guys posted hey Indiana sweet Welcome to Indiana. Hey guys, Future Art Productions here again. We are literally on the outskirts of Fort Wayne. Uh, we're kind of tired to actually just you know keep filming and we're running out of room to film. So um, we're gonna just basically jump cut to uh, the inside of the hotel room because we gotta get all the check down and all that. So we'll just show you where we're at when we get there. Hey guys, this is our room. I mean, the view up here is like, we got a nice city view, like, like that's a good city view, like, like, sorry about that, my girlfriend's a little vulgar, but anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow when we go to go to Lawton Park, where 765 was sitting for about 17 years, and we'll follow its roots from Lima, Ohio, to Lawton, to where it was first restored, to where she is today, so, see you guys next time. Good morning, everybody. Future Over Productions here again. Uh, it is Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Thursday, October 1st. Uh, today we'll be going over to Lawton Park, which is that way. Uh, doing some other stuff as well. Um, going over to Lima, Ohio. Uh, it may be out of order uh, for filming, but once I put it all together, it'll be um, in order. So we're going to go follow 765's footsteps. Or is it wheel steps? I think it's probably footsteps. So we're going to be uh, going to Lima, Ohio, to the overpass down there, to the um, to Lawton Park, to the train station, and then to the corner of Ryan and Georgian Roads where the old restoration site used to be. So it's going to be a busy day today. See you guys. Hey guys, Future Out Productions here. We're currently in Lima, Ohio, next to Nickel Plate Burke number 779. 765 was finished on September 8th, 1944, and you know, this place is a railroad exhibit where we honor the history of the Lima Locomotive Works, and 779 is actually the last steam locomotive that was ever built by the Locomotive Works, and unfortunately in 1998, the erecting shop and several other buildings were torn down, so having the last steam locomotive built by that company, just having it here memorializes what was and what, you know, what happened, what ended, you know? So, it's kind of a fitting memorial in a way.
Hey guys, Future Opera Productions here. We are currently in front of the Nickel Plate Overpass. Uh, the 1757 would have opened the overpass in 1955. But it's kind of sad that the engine's no longer around, but at least your sibling lives on. Hey guys, Future Off Productions here. We're currently in Lawton Park. Uh, this is where 765 sat for 11 years before it was taken out and restored by the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society. Over there, you can clearly tell where the grade used to be, and if you actually watch the documentary, Listen for the Whistle, they towed it over 4th Street. So where we're standing, it's definitely where the 765 sat. So, Hey guys, Future Off Productions here. We're currently at the Cash Street Station in downtown Fort Wayne, just across the St. Mary's River. 765 would have came down this way after being towed out of Lawton Park. And if you guys watch the documentary, listen for the whistle, you can see the engine come down this way, take a switch track, and then actually continue on that way. So, you know, we're actually standing on her very footsteps. So, this has been a fun trip so far. Hey everyone, Futurell here. We're back again. We're at the corner of Ryan and Edgerton Roads in New Haven, and this right here is where 765 was restored for the first time. I mean, I mean clearly you can see the grade here. It's 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 obvious. So her first moves happened September 1st, 1979, right here. I can't believe I'm standing in this spot. You know, I never thought I'd be here, but it's so awesome. It's so great to be here. Good morning guys, it's Friday, October 2nd, um, today we get to drive the 765, however, I don't really look the role of an engineer, you know what, I need a change of clothes.
That is To give the kids their hooked their ears. Yeah. 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 There's a lump bunch of unhappy kids. And yeah. I'm 24 and it's sometimes still 
all startles me. that card, huh? I'm the fireman, not you. <laughs>
a little bit of context for this next clip. Other than personal friends and close relatives, you guys are the first w people to witness this momentous occasion in my life. Honey, I got a question to ask. Brianna, I love you more than life itself. You are the most amazing, most beautiful woman. I love you. Alright? I love you even more than trains, and that's saying something. Brianna getting. Will you marry me? Mm -hmm. big surprise that I had the intro of the video but um, yeah we're engaged so uh, this has been episode 6 of Future Out Travels the final episode I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, maybe the series will come back at some point I don't know yet but we're engaged so we don't have, we don't have a wedding uh, wedding date yet but we'll we will update you guys when we do so until next time this is Future Oil Productions and the future Mrs. Future Oil Productions signing off. I remember when I was young, standing by the railroad tracks, waiting on a train to come with my dad. He would take me to those places where those old steam trains ran, and I still see him here with me. Steam train take me back to those good old days. Where my heart stores those memories Steam train take me back Where my dreams ran free And my time wasn't such luxury Funny how an old steam train Brings back a memory That only a few of us get to understand Like the passing of the seasons Like the songs written in the breeze The sound of the whistle me free. Steam train take me back to those good old days where my heart stores those memories. Steam train take me back where my dreams ran free and my time was a such luxury.